Hello, hello. Hello, Raf. Good evening, sir, and welcome. Max, welcome to class. Jose, welcome. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good, good. Thank you very much for asking. Vanessa, hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. No problem, no problem, Raf. Oh, we lost Rafael, okay. How's everybody doing tonight? Happy Friday, TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Long weekend. Si yo fuera, si yo fuera presidente. Rafael, welcome back. Yo pusiera la semana. The work week de lunes a jueves. Y nuestro fin de semana sería viernes, sábado y domingo. Los tres días de descanso pagado. Pagado. Que les quede claro. The teacher for president. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo es? Eh, están diciendo, como hay, bota, ¿cómo es que dicen? They have like a little thing going on with the, with the letters. R for, no, ¿cómo es? Pongan la L para Lobelto, como somos puertorriqueños. Lobelto, Roberto. L para Lobelto. All right. Uh, Daniela, hello, welcome. Josué, welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Rafael, don't put your camera on if it's going to mess up your signal. Don't worry about it. You can leave the audio on. My, Maricela, hello. Welcome. Hi, teacher. How hey. are you? Good, good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for asking. Really hey, happy. How are you? Well, I, very hey, good. You? I am feeling really happy that it's Friday. <laughs> okay, that is true. Right, right, all right. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna start real quick. I'm gonna start sharing. And let me see here. Let's go ahead and put everything. I have nothing to hide. Oh no, hold on, give me one second. Let me, I didn't do the sound. Here we go, and we're doing the sound. All right, can you guys see my screen okay? Yes. Excellent, hey. Okay. All right. So we're back to the platform, and like we started the whole week, you know, starting on Monday, we have been discussing the platform and the platform work. How are you guys coming along? How is your platform exercises coming along? Um, have you started? Have you started moving towards the middle and completed, you know, all the way up to maybe 1.5, 1.6? Have you completed section one? Are you way ahead? How are you doing with the platform? Tell me, talk to me. I haven't started. Okay, okay. Now, there is an app that you can download for your phone. 
you can also use the navigator in your phone or you can wait till you go home into your computer and the modules are actually not that long so what we're gonna do and i actually asked for permission guys is for us to be able to keep working on the platform and then that way you guys get accustomed to the navigation and kind of moving you know moving along there please keep in mind that eventually you guys will have to go in to the modules themselves and the sections because in order for you guys to get a certification they have to be completed so just keep that in mind keep that in mind um, try to do it you know it, it, it takes it's actually pretty quick um, let, let me show you guys some of these okay so that you guys see that usually they're pretty short I think we have some videos that can get a little bit longer maybe four or five minutes but other than that it should actually be pretty short so let me show you guys so this one here on section one this was actually one of the long one of the longer videos and you guys can see it's four minutes 30 seconds so this one is a little bit you know longer than usual uh, this one you get to watch there is no exercises to follow it and then you begin with the lesson objective now for the lesson objective and only for if you guys want to get the little check mark the only thing you have to do is kind of go through it read it and then click next the only way that you don't get the check mark is if you skip right if you go from the video and then skip into another video then you won't get you won't get the check mark for it we start off with the really immature video which we watched please remember that you have to watch the videos completely okay and then we started to work we have the time clause video which was actually a minute but it's the same one that we were using so we're gonna go into this i sent the screenshot to it and they haven't gotten back to me yet but i'm pretty sure that they they probably will pretty soon right we skipped lesson 1.4 and we went into lesson 1.5 which was the listening exercises which we completed so if you guys haven't completed this exercise you guys can take a look at it and see how we finished it off and how was it that we were able to get it and get past it uh, sally okay and then we went ahead lesson number 1.6 which was behaviors and personality we did complete the video and we were also able to go into lesson 1.8 objectives and this is where we left off you can say expressing regrets and describing hypothetical situations so now if you were actually stopping to watch the videos the longest video was just the one at the very beginning which is four minutes all the other videos were about a minute a minute 30 like it doesn't get any bigger than that minute 30 and then this one here that i believe i yeah this one that is two minutes okay so for this one i'm going to put the volume back on and let's discuss before we get started okay do you guys so far how do you guys feel how have how have you felt during these past three days well going on to four days this first week how do you guys feel are you guys feeling a little bit more confident are you guys feeling shy? Le da pena todavía? Are you guys still nervous? How do you guys feel in general? At the beginning, I was terrified because it's my first time in an online course. Okay. But meeting you and the way that you teach, uh, uh, you are a good teacher, I feel comfortable. Hey, thank you very much, Jose. Thank you very much. Okay. Anybody else? A ver, a ver. Let, let's choose. Así. Vanessa, ¿cómo se siente? 
remember, we still have three more weeks to go. So, so if you still feel like a little, you know, shy still, it's okay. It's all right. Nos acabamos de conocer. Uh, I like the, the class. I like the group. Uh, I like the way that how you teach us as the, the, the other com uh, uh, I don't know who, who say that. I don't remember the name. But okay. I feel great, teacher. I okay. was uh, in three models, uh, the past three models with the same teacher in this in this uh, academic. So I think that is great to know uh, another teacher. And I like your class. Oh, You're that's... Very, I don't know. Sorry? I was going to tell you, wow, three months. That's quite, that's quite some time. Yeah, I, I am in this course around five months in the past. Oh, okay. So I used to be with the same t-shirt. Now I know you. Yeah, so you I are. think that is great. The class, I like uh, your enthusiasm. I think that because the hour, I, and in my case, I feel a little tired because all I right. have to work all day, but this helping me to not to be so uh, boring. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I like it. I like Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Remember, remember that we still have three more weeks and I have presentations, but sometimes presentations can get a little bit, you know, a little bit overboard with maybe, you know, being too bored or being too specific on the presentation. And so what I try to do is eventually I will incorporate some of these because if we wanted to discuss, for example, exercises on how to uh, say numbers, right? Uh, what I do like to do is I like to show the numbers and then practice some of those numbers. So we will come back around into the presentations. Um, remember that we also have the live worksheets. Have you guys visited the live worksheets for anything at all? Do you guys remember the live worksheets? These here? No? Let me go ahead and put it in chat. And and so these you can do on your on, on your time. You guys can do it whenever you guys like. Live worksheets.com. And I actually use these a lot, right? Uh, it hasn't been into this module that I kind of stopped and I'm stopping myself from doing it, but I do use these a lot. So eventually we're gonna come back to the presentation. We're gonna come back to the live worksheets. And of course, of course, right, to our uh, website. Um, I really wanna get you guys uh, more engaged in using the platform just because eventually there are, you guys are going to start receiving WhatsApp messages or emails about the usage and so i don't want you guys to be like oh my god what happened este teacher me reportó no 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 yo no pongo dedo yo no pongo dedo yo no pongo dedo but the admins do have a way of actually checking your progress in the platform así es que ojo con eso ojo con eso okay all right so we're going to continue with the work here because that's what we said we were going to do throughout the week and then the video we're going to stop it and then we're going to discuss we're going to practice Okay, as we're moving along in the video. So here we go, everybody. Now, for everybody else that didn't get to participate, I am going to ask you to use your chats. And I want you guys to give me ideas. What would you like me to include in the class to make it better for you? And you guys could say videos. Así va. Pero ojo, ojo, ojo. No pueden ser videos prohibidos, ¿verdad? No, puede, no me pueden pedir ahí a la bichota. Tienen que ser, you know, if you ask for videos, it would have to be educational videos, all right, that have to do with what we're seeing. So uh, this is just an example that I use. But you guys can put whatever you guys would want to see. So uh, as we move along, you guys are free to chat and put it in the chat. And then, you know, at the end of the at the end of the module, I'll take a look at it and then see how I can incorporate it into our class. All right. So here we go. Here's the video. Uh, let me go ahead and test the, the audio. You guys let me know if you guys can hear it or not. Stay and learn how to express regrets. 
was everybody able to hear it? Yes, yes. everybody good? All right, good. Iris, hello, welcome. Jorge, welcome. Jarvin, welcome. Creo que no les había dado la bienvenida, ¿verdad? Good evening. Good no, evening. I'm coming late. Good night. Sorry. And that's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Starting the video again. Three, two, one. Should you have learned English before? Stay and learn how to express regrets and describe hypothetical situations. Page 75. Exercise 8. Grammar focus. Expressing regret and describing hypothetical situations. Expressing regret. I should have studied something more practical when I was in college. I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. Describing hypothetical situations. If I'd been more ambitious in college, I could have learned another language. If I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have my own apartment now. When we want to express regrets, we need to follow the rule. Subject plus should have plus past participle. It's important for you to know that we use should have to speculate about or imagine things that did or didn't happen. For example, I should have paid attention to what I ate as a kid. When you want to describe a hypothetical situation, we need to use this rule. If plus subject plus had plus past participle, comma, subject plus could or would have plus past participle. Notice the use of could or would have shows what didn't happen. For example, if I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have bought my own apartment. In other words, I didn't buy the house because I had no money. Can you put yourself in the following hypothetical situations? Write them on our discussion box. 75. All right, all right, all right. So let's, let's take a look at this. And we're gonna do expressing regrets first, and then we're gonna go into describing hypothetical situations, okay? All right, so it starts off with regrets. By show of hands, do you guys have any regrets? Do you have any regrets at all? Raise my hand, right? I, I have a regret or two or 17, right? <laughs> All right. Is there anyone here who has zero regrets? Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you have no regrets at all. Nada. Ninguna. Aquel, really? chu aquel chucho que fuiste a dejar a la montaña. Mm, mm. No te sentiste mal. Mm? Mm? <laughs> all right. So... Regrets are things that you did or you didn't, right? So things that possibly you did that created, you know, like a like a ripple effect, a wave, things that you didn't do that could have helped out in different situations in life. So I want you guys to think of it that way, right? Uh, the example that we use is, I should have studied something more practical when I was in college. I should have studied something more practical when I was in college. I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. Okay, so now let's make it personal, right? The question was, did you guys do something that you regretted? But now we're going to make it a little bit more complex. Is there anything that you guys didn't do that you regret now? 
that you go back and say, man, I should have, I should have done this and I should have done that. All right, and I want you guys to think about it for a moment because we're gonna practice. All right, so here we go. I am going to start, I'll give you guys an example, right? And then I'll tell you the story about what happened. All right. I should have taken advantage of, you know what? Let me see. I, how do you, you know what? I lost it for a minute. What do you, how do you say beca? Me gané una beca. Una beca would be. I got this. What, what was it? I got the scholarship. It's scholarship. scholarship. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. I have, I completely, right. I shouldn't have smoked all of that. No, 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 no. Let's, let's forget about that. Okay. I should have taken advantage of my scholarship when it was granted to me. Huh? I should have taken advantage of my scholarship when it was granted to me. All right. So let me tell you what happened. Um, I was actually pretty terrible in, 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 you know, growing up. I was a really bad teenager. I was a really bad kid. And um, I found a tutor. And the tutor, I guess she maybe, you know, she must have seen something different in me. And she said, hey, you know what? Uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna try to practice a little bit different. We're going to do something different. And so we, we watched videos and we read books. And then um, her main focus was um, computers and math. And those were the two things that I absolutely hated. But at the end, I really actually really liked it. Um, I, I got so good and she did such a great job that I went to take some tests and I passed all of my tests. And then I applied for a university. With her help, I was able to get a, a scholarship. Um, and they were, you know, the school was paying for two years. And, you know, I started to do it and then I just gave up. I, I thought to myself that it was just gonna be too hard and it was too time consuming. And so I just gave up and I lost my scholarship and, you know, and I, and I never went back to actually doing, you know, the school the way I did it. So that is a regret. That is a regret that I have. Um, I should have taken advantage of my scholarship and I should have accepted it and continued it and completed it when they were when they granted me that scholarship. So that's my regret. I should have waited. I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. Well, I have a, a regret of something that I didn't do and that I waited too long in doing it. I always wanted to teach. So what I'm doing right now is, is, you know, it's not even work. This is something that I do because I actually love it, right? So it's not work. I'm having a great time. I'm meeting great people. And so that makes it a whole lot better. I shouldn't have waited in leaving my job as long as I did to pursue what I really wanted to do. I actually spent 15 years saying, I am going to quit, I am going to quit, I am going to quit, and I never did it. And it took me a really long time to finally, you know, kind of leave. So these are my two examples, right? They could be short, they could be long. And I want you guys to think, if you guys don't have any regrets, then you can just say, I don't have any regrets, teacher. And then we can move ahead to the next person. All right. No hay, eh, no tengo una lista, sino que es como me aparecen en los videos. And at the very top, tengo a Vanessa. Vanessa, do you have any regrets? 
of things that you did that you now regret? Or is there something that you didn't do that now you regret that you didn't do it? I know that's confusing, huh? That's, yeah, all right. Okay. Uh, I have one. Okay. For example, I shouldn't have wasted my time watching TV instead of learning English. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great one. That's no. a great one. <laughs> Although TV is really good. I don't know, Vanessa, TV is really good. That one's yeah, hard. But English is important. And English. now I need it because for my work. So it's more important to learn English than watch TV. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. Okay, we'll accept that one. We'll accept it, Vanessa. All right, we're moving along. Marisela. Hi. Hello. I think it's really, really the same regret, regret because my father um, wants to Uh, put me in uh, English class in okay. Escuela Americana when I was um, 15 years old. And I say, no, 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 no. So, I'm aquí. And in my 38 years old, and I can speak English. And it's a big relief for me. So, I should have studied English when I was <clears throat> younger. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We like we accept it. I accept that one. And yes, right. And now, now, don't feel bad, Marisela. You know, sometimes, sometimes what happens is that we don't see we don't see exactly what maybe our parents see, right? Until we become parents. So don't, don't, it's okay, right? You still have time, Marisela. Super, no, super. I feel, I feel bad. You feel so, bad? <laughs> yes, I, I, I talk, I speak like Sofia Vergara sometimes, so it's. <laughs> okay, all right, I, all right. <laughs> all right. It's not good. It's that, all right, all right. I'm not. I'm not gonna try to make you feel better now. I'm gonna keep pushing that. You're gonna make. I'm gonna make you feel even worse. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see the next one. Next one, Jose. Jose regrets. Well, <laughs> um, my regret is I sure had to try more times because um, when I graduate from high school, I want to be doctor. And I want to go to the National University <coughs> and not pass the mission. Now. So I was disappointed and, and go, I went to a private university and okay. I started business administration. And now I, I really regret if I wait for one year or two, I will be uh, become a doctor right now. Oh, Jose, so close. Now, now <laughs> l let me tell you something, Jose. I have had to go to see the doctors. Y, y en estos momentos, creo que están pasando un momento bien estresante. So I'm thinking, Jose, yeah. that maybe, maybe, you know, you're better off here with me in class, you know? So maybe, <laughs> yeah. you know, we, we have to think yeah. it positive, think positive. All right. Okay, we'll accept that one, Jose. We'll accept it. Yeah. All right. Uh, Jorge, regret something you did and you regret or something you didn't do? Yes, teacher, I didn't. I, well, I had one. Okay. Uh, I sure had studied more and more English because in my work, it's nearly every day. And then uh, I did so. Uh, actually, or no one day, I had a better job. You know, um, and so I want you, I, you know, a lot of, I see a lot of things in the news, how everybody is having a really hard time because of the COVID-19 and the pandemic. Y pues, verdad, eh, 
estamos en un país a donde si el día de mañana cierran las empresas, oh my goodness, oh, everything goes crazy. So um, I have heard a lot of stories of people saying I, I, I can't find a job and it's really hard. And now from personal experience, let me tell you that the fact that I knew English yeah. actually helped me in not seeing or not facing that same situation. Um, gracias a Dios, I've been able to have a job todos estos meses que hemos pasado nosotros así, pues, uh, confinados or, or, you know, uh, under house arrest or not being able to, you know, do anything. Um, I have had work. Um, I have been either either teaching. Um, I have been involved with either you know call centers. Um, I have also do. I have also been doing some freelance work, and it has to do with the language. So Jorge, you are absolutely correct. Um, okay. Hay un meme que anda ahí. There's a meme in Facebook that says that English opens doors. And it's yeah. absolutely correct for everybody, right? I, I want you guys to to know that it is absolutely correct. And but you guys should also take, you know, take consideration. You are taking the correct steps. Okay. You are in class and you can do it and you will okay. do it. And you know, eventually you guys are gonna be just absolutely gringos and 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 I'm gonna be crying when that happens. Thank so you, so good good for you guys. All right. So here we go. Iris, Iris hey, regret. Hey, teacher, teacher, yes, Jorge. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, I was uh, I was uh, studying in pandemic. Okay. Uh, every day I was studying English because I try and get my confidence for me. Oh, okay. So see, yeah. yeah, that's good. That's nice. Good. Way to go, George. Way to go. I mean, Iris, one regret. Uh, oh, God, I have many regrets. <laughs> um, maybe I should have married oldest uh, oh, because okay. I can finish the college. I see. I see. So... So you married when you were young? Yeah. Okay, okay, I see, I see. When I was 18. Oh, that's not too young. That's that's okay. There, there's countries where 18 is okay, Iris. <laughs> oh, yeah. But um, I have many kids and I, I didn't finish the college. And this is my regret. Okay, I see it. I see it. We we'll, we will accept that, Iris. We will accept that. All right. Here we go, Max. One regret. Hi. Well, I shouldn't have quit learning French when I have the time to do it. Uh, when I have the time to attend to the class every day. And uh, now I will be maybe a in another country, I don't know. Yeah, I understand. And I understand. At this time, I can I can imagine myself uh, learning French because it's kind of difficult. Right. I you know I I try to learn German, Max. So I know exactly what you're going through. Um, Parlez-vous français? Así estuviéramos ahorita, fíjate, Max. Parlez-vous français? Yeah. Pero no, ahora solo masticamos el francés en la mañana, Max. But that's all right. That's all right. You know, we have English, we have Spanish, and I believe that English and Spanish are beautiful, beautiful languages in themselves. Now, you shouldn't give up on your dream, Max. He visto varias clases ahí en francés. Maybe you should try it out, you know? Maybe I will. Give it a shot, Max. Give it a shot. Parlez-vous français? Oui, oui. I'm going to start saying it later. Bye. All right, Max. Thank you for that. Jarvin. Jarvin. Hello, Jarvin. Hello, teacher. Good day. Hello. Good day. Good day. How are you, Jarvin? <laughs> good night. I say good, good night. Oh, good night. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jarvin. All right. One regret, Jarvin. Do you have any regrets? Can you share one I regret have, with us? I had some example. It's true. Right. I should have taken advantage of the opportunity to study to be a doctor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like Jose. Jose also had 
the opportunity. Yes, like, like I said, but I don't feel regrets because at that time I preferred to start to work. Okay. And I and I learned how difficult it is to earn money. Right. It really hurts, right? To work a yes. whole month and then you get a little bit of a check and then you have to buy the food and then it's gone. Yes. And then we have to start all over again. Yeah, Jarvin, I hear you. I feel you, brother. All right. Solo por eso, Jarvin, ahorita te voy a depositar. ¿Cuánto querés? Ahí, para que vea. All right. This is the attitude, teacher. This is the attitude. All right, Jarvin. All right. Thank you very much. Daniela. Daniela. Regret. Something you did. Something you didn't do. Can be something like I. For example, I should, shouldn't have became introvert, an introvert person. Well, you know, I don't think you can become that. I think you normally are that from the very beginning. So as a kid, usually you just become an introvert. Um, so I don't think you have any control. <laughs> I don't think you have control over that, Daniela, but but if you did have control, then yes, then yes, I, we can accept it. Um, actually, I when I was growing up, yo era bien introvertido, right? I, I, I was really shy. I, I didn't want to talk to people. And my um, my surroundings, my friends, the bullying, that kind of made me into an extrovert. So, uh, so yo creo que sí, sí se puede hacer ese cambio, Daniela. So we will accept it. We will accept it. Now, do you have plans on becoming uh, extrovertida again, or, or te vas a quedar introvertida? I was extrovert, and oh. I miss this. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Ah, pues sí, yeah. ah, pues sí. <laughs> All right. Well, when you decide to come back to just being crazy extroverted, Aquí estamos. ¿verdad? Hola. Aquí con las manos, con las manos. Hola. Y, y, al punto de que, ay, este teacher que ha metido. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how it is. All right, let's see. Josué. We're moving on to Josué. Josué, my friend. Hello, teacher. I'm here. Good, good. Do you have a regret that you want to share with us? Yes, of course. In my case, I should have saved money when I was in my last job. Creo que todos, Jose, all of us, all of us are feeling that way right now. Yeah. Uh, Especially we because in the last year, it's quite difficult to many people, including me, mm -hmm. for the pandemic. But yeah. But we are here, and that's uh, that's a blessing to be here. That is correct. Yeah, I will accept that. Ahora, Jose, te voy a decir, yo me estaba sintiendo tan mal porque mi cuenta de banco ha bajado hasta un millón. Y, y pues yo nunca he tenido solo un millón en el banco, entonces yo me siento malísimo, Josué. yo me siento malísimo en este momento. I understand you, brother. Muchísimas gracias por compartir. A ver, Rafael. Raf, can you hear me, my friend? Are you ready to share your regret with us? Oh, okay, let me go ahead and read that too. Uh, in the chat section. I shouldn't have passed up the opportunity to travel to Japan two years ago. Rav, you should have gone. Oh my goodness. Rav, en este momento estuviéramos sabras. We, we could, you know, we could be having that conversation. Nice, man. You know, something similar happened to me, Rav. However, it happened to me and I was a little bit older. They told me if I wanted to travel to Jamaica. And I said, yes. And I can honestly tell you now that nobody can lie to me and tell me how Jamaica is beautiful. It's a lie. I hated it. Don't go to Jamaica. Whatever you do, don't go to Jamaica, people. 
<laughs> but that's Wait, what happened. Why teacher? Fíjate que bien feo, no? You know how they make it seem like there's beaches and they're beautiful beaches? Yes, I yeah. love it. Yeah. No, no hay playas, no, no hay playas naturales. Son playas hechas por los, los hoteles. So when you try to look for natural beaches, you can actually drive around and not find any beaches that are like natural, sino que solo es arrecife all the way around. Y, y déjame decirte que da un poquito de miedo meterte al agua por el arrecife porque, right, it's like, oh my goodness. Um, son bien pesados los, los jamaiquinos. Uh, espero que no haya ningún jamaiquino en clase <laughs> para que no se vayan a ofender, ¿verdad? Eh, bien pesados. Eh, fíjate que, bueno, yo sentí que me trataron un poquito mal. Me, me, dis, me dis, ¿cómo es? I was discriminated. Me discriminaron. Guess why? Why do you guys think I was discriminated? Porque era cafecito. What? Yeah. They, no, porque los jamaiquinos son bien piel oscura. They're really, oh. really, they're really, really dark skinned. So when they have, uh, cuando hay un jamaiquino and he's light skinned, le hacen bullying. Entonces, como yo soy cafecito, también estoy en, o quedaba en esa porción. And so, in the medium. I was, yeah, I was stuck in the middle and I was like, how can I be, o sea, ¿cómo puedo yo ser la, la fuente del racismo? No entiendo yo. Fíjate, estos que descarado, fíjate, tanto que molestan que, ay, que, que, que el racismo con ellos y mira cómo me trataron a mí. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't go to Jamaica. ¿Va? Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Take your advice. Sí. There you go. Más, y si son más cafecito, sí. si son más cafecito, <laughs> va, tener mucho más cuidado. Rav, I feel your pain, brother. I feel your pain. Va. But don't worry, Japan will come back again. You will see. All right. I will have gone there and I will stay there forever. Ah, right? <laughs> Como Max y Max ¿a dónde? y Max ya no regresó, no, ya no regresó, mm -mm, mm -mm. se quedó allá y de repente comenzas a ver sumo wrestling y ahí está Max <laughs> in, the, in the first row watching the sumo wrestlers. Oh my goodness, I, I feel you, I feel you guys. All right, Luis, Luis Enrique, tan tan tan. My friend. Hello, teacher. How are Hello. you? Hello, I'm doing pretty good. Thank you very much. Luis, Luis, do you have a regret for us? Yes, I have one. All right. I should have studied my master in finance a long time ago, ago oh. when I graduated from the university. Yes, sir. A master is always good. It always sounds nice when you say I have this and I have a master's in this. It always makes it sound a little bit better, you know? Yes, yes. I feel you, Luis. I feel you. Okay. Now, what's stopping you from actually completing it now? Um, right now, it's, it's about money. Oh, I, I see. Have a, I, I don't have so much money for the start. Oh, my uh, goodness. Luis, no te preocupes. No te preocupes una vez más, ¿verdad? Aquí está tu teacher. Eh, but now I have, I, have the, I have time. <laughs> but <laughs> <not> have money. <laughs> you know, that's, that's how it is sometimes. Oh, my goodness. Okay, all right. You just well, have okay. to, tell, to tell him where do you want to go to study, maybe to England. There we go. There we go. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And I, there yeah. you go. That's that's yeah. how you do it. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. We're moving. Uh, David. David, do you have any regrets? Uh, yes. Yes, I have one. I should have applied to a scholarship in 2011 to study a master's degree in another country when I was a, a young, when I finished the university, uh, but I didn't apply. Oh, okay. And what country were you going to go to study? Uh, Mexico. Mexico. Nice, man. Now, a, a lot of people usually they go to Monterrey, 
was it going to be yes. to Monterrey? It was Monterrey, David. Hey, you know, hey, you see? Mon o sea que eh, si hubiera sido, David, en estos momentos anduvieras con, con, con sombrero, tus botas <laughs> y tiraras puro flow. Puro flow, David. All right. All right. All right, everybody. So we have our regrets, right? And then, you know, uh, somebody asked me a long time ago, they said, do you regret anything? And actually, there are these regrets, but, but I also believe that everything that happens in life happens for a reason. And everything that happens, re, you know, it, 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 it sends you down the path and it sends you to where you need to be in this particular moment, right? Um, because if I could go back in time and change some things, I probably wouldn't be here with you guys today. And that would totally be a regret for me. Oh, va llorando aquí todos, llorando. Ay, este teacher, hombre. Este Some teacher sí que... Worse. Este teacher sí que... ¿Verdad, Max? Este teacher como hace chillar, hombre. All right, all right. So... Profundo, teacher, profundo. Todo confusos, ¿verdad? All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, expressing regret. And, and you guys have to keep in mind that it's totally okay for you guys to share this, you know, this, this stuff, uh, especially when it's with your friends, especially with it's, uh, cuando es in, you know, in, in people that you're in close relationship with. Um, now we're going to switch over to describing hypothetical situations. So the examples that we see here are, if I'd been more ambitious in college, do you guys remember the word ambitious? Ambitious. Yes. Uh, yes. I could have learned another language. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have had my own apartment now. Right? So let me tell you what happened with money. Oh, my goodness. I had so many plans. I had so many plans. And I kept telling myself and I kept saying, Santo Niño de Atoche, va. Uh, Quiero encontrarme cinco mil dólares. I want to find five thousand dollars because it's going to change my life. Five thousand dollars is going to change my life. And be careful what you ask for, ¿verdad? El santo niño de Atoche mm, cumplió. ¿Saben qué pasó? Me encontré cinco mil dólares. Bueno, no me los encontré, but eh, se borró de con. I don't know if you guys remember that. Did you guys remember a couple of years back? <laughs> Yeah. Que Dicón dejó de funcionar. I don't know if you guys remember. <laughs> yes, I were uh, no. All right. So, so what happened was, what happened was that my name no longer appeared in Dicón, and <laughs> and they call me. Your record cleaning. Yeah, they called yeah. me from me llamaron de Scotia Bank, and they said, "Hey, you qualify for a loan?" And I was like. Huh? Okay. Are you serious? Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and then I didn't believe. I thought they were playing. You know, I thought it was a joke. I, I didn't believe it. And she told me, "No, give me your Dewey. Give me your need. Give me your everything." And I was like, "Yeah, okay." And, y le di todo. and then she showed up at work, and she had the five thousand dollars. And I was like, "Oh my god!" So guess what happened? Me lo gasté todo, todito. Oh. Now you're back at the con again. <laughs> now I'm back at the con, but it's okay <laughs> because I was always there, anyways. Para que me, si saben cómo me pongo, para que me prestan pisto. That's what I told the guy that called me cuando me cobró. So, if I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have my own business right now. And so this, that is a hypothetical, right? Tenía tantos planes y cuando llegó el dinero, me volví loco. And I think, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. You know, I had so many plans. I wanted to start my own little business. Um, ¿Saben qué quería vender? Eh, bonsais. Yes, yes, yes. Los, los cactus y los bonsais. Correcto. That's what I wanted to sell. And I, and I me imaginaba, oh, oh my goodness. But there it is. That's mine. All right. Hey, now, teacher, how much is the bonsai? 
they're around depending, depending on which ones you're looking for. Hay unos que son bien, bien básicos y esos cuestan como cinco dólares. Wow. And then the more intricate they are, y, y, y el tronquito, se tienen que fijar en el tronquito. Si el tronquito es más grueso, les van a cobrar un poquito más. So if you get one of those little bonsais que tiene así el gran troncón, they're going to be pretty expensive. Ojo, ojo con eso, ojo con eso, right? So siempre chequeen el tronquito. And then you guys should be okay. All right. So now we, I don't think we're going to have time for okay. everybody. Who would like to volunteer for a hypothetical? Hypothetical. And it could be either Iris, Iris, a ver. Me. Um, if I have saved money last year, I do have a change of uh, my car. Oh, okay. Yeah, that always works. That's always a good investment. Okay. Plus, we need, you know, we need to travel, you know. All right. Yeah. Somebody else. Anybody else wants to do the hypothetical situation? Voluntarios for hypothetical? I have one. Vanessa, a ver. If I have been more strict with my food, I will have lost weight faster. Nice. Well, there we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. Now, don't blame, don't blame the food, Vanessa. Don't blame the food. Food is absolutely I delicious. <laughs> I, love, I love food, so. I, <laughs> oh, I think we all do. <laughs> we all love food. Uh, that's nice one. Thank you very much, Vanessa. Um, last one. Anybody? This is my daily regret. <laughs> <laughs> With the it's food. After, go back to gym. <laughs> there we go, right? If I had if I had gotten back to the gym, right, I wouldn't be so ah, all right. Anybody want to share the last one? Last hypothetical. Anybody? Any for example For example, teacher, if I if I've been more dedicated in university, I could have got the scholarship to study a master there we go that's yes yes that can be used that is acceptable and yes dedication right if i had been more dedicated i would have gotten something you know out of it yes of course now dedication is really hard you know uh, a lot of us say that we are dedicated but when we start doing it it's, it's really hard it requires a lot so for those for those of you guys who managed to finish i one of my best friends took nine years to finish her university career and it only happens when you have that dedication and that commitment. So for those of you guys who have your university degrees, who are going on to your masters, hey, congratulations. For those of you, for those of us, right, who are who are trying to finish or who are, who, who are moving in that direction, commitment, dedication, don't give up. Si el teacher puede, ustedes también pueden. So hang in there, guys, hang in there. All right, all right, we're gonna move away from this one. And right before I let you guys go, let me go, let me see, let me put the video here and let's move to the next portion that we wanted to see. Please remember that the work that we do on in the class is for you guys to have an idea of how the section will be. But in order for you guys to get credit for actually completing the module, you guys have to do it from the website. Tienen que entrar y tienen que hacer los ejercicios, porque si no se me van a quedar sin la certificación. Y ojo con eso, right? We don't want anybody without a certification. Let me see, where was it? Where is it? Oh, I think that's, you know, I think that was pretty much it. I think that was it. There's a discussion and then we click on next and then there's the knowledge check. Let me see how long is it? Well, there's five questions on the knowledge check. I think we can do two. Let's see. Instructions. Read each statement. Rearrange the regret or hypothetical situations 
given in order to complete the information. No period is necessary, but remember capital letters. Okay. So number one says, if I'd listen to my parents, decisions I pragmatic would more made half. And so what we have to do is we have to unscramble the sentence and we have to fix it. If I'd listen to my parents, I will have I I will have I will have more pragmatic decisions. I would have made made more Pragmatic decisions. Pragmatic decisions. Pragmatic decisions. And it says no dot, right? Now this yes. one does allow me to check it. Let me see. Let's let's check on this one and see how it comes out. We got it. That's it. That's it. Well done. Okay. Yeah. So I've given you guys the first one. Well, actually, I'm sorry, you guys have gotten the first one right. I'm gonna leave the rest here for you guys. If you guys need any help, please let us know. Please use the WhatsApp and try to complete it as best as you can. If you absolutely need help, please don't hesitate, right? Let the group know, let me know, and we'll jump right in to help you guys out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is Knowledge Check 1.10. And then once you guys complete that, we start off in Section 2.0 on Monday, and we start to work on pronunciation. So, ojo con eso, ojo con eso. All right, ladies and gentlemen, les voy a regresar tres minutos de su vida. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you for everything tonight. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. Por favor, descansen. Have a really nice weekend. Eh, y acuérdense, son tres días de vacaciones. Take it easy, man. Take it easy. Calmados, okay. calmados. Okay. <laughs> All right. Same for you, teacher. It Thank was you very, very much. Nice class. Thank you, teacher. No, well, Don't teacher. spend, Don't Don't spend the money. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> well, aquí, I'm giving it away. I'm giving it to Raf and I'm giving it to Luis. So, you know, it's okay. It's okay. Así you, somos, teacher. No? I wait for my money. There we go, there we go, Iris. Mira, ¿y cómo es? Así somos nosotros. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Happy Good weekend. Night. Good night. Good night. Happy Good weekend. Happy See you on Monday. See you Monday, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye, bye.